extend Coach Carrito, and then uh, we've got about two minutes for, for questions with uh, Bruce Marlow, Mark Fritz, Coach Carrito. Coach, I'll turn it over to you. All right. Uh, extremely disappointing. But uh, that's been our Friday several times this year. It's disappointing in the result, but the effort was there, and the will to win was there. And uh, I thought both teams played hard, played well. Uh, the separation was as a result of uh, two strike hitting, uh, and uh, two out hitting and uh, the RBIs with runners in scoring position when they needed them. We got one out of the rally that we got early, that we started early at, with a base hit there, uh, with the bases loaded would have made a, a huge difference, but we didn't sustain it. So, but the fight was there. I'm proud of the team. I think they did a really great job of battling to win the game perform both offensively and defensively, and as a team. I'm very proud of them. Disappointing, but not discouraging. Uh, why not bring Mays back out for the eighth? Is it to preserve him? The, uh, the left-handed hitters, uh, and we felt Duke would be a good choice there. Uh, in hindsight, it, cost us a walk and and uh, he got behind on the second hitter as well but he's been very good in those situations against left-handed hitters Bellows. Uh, Bellows excuse me yes Parker was this just one of those outings where some grounders found some holes and just missed a couple of gloves and generally you felt well yeah um <clears throat> I felt like my stuff was really good today um that's it's felt in a while um if you would have told me that they I think had made one out in the uh, in the air, and the rest were on the ground or strikeouts. I would have told you that would have been pretty successful today. Um, that's just baseball. Uh, we didn't make any errors behind me. We played solid defense. Just they had more balls find holes than we did. Cantu's been no. There's there's nothing more to, to it than Cantu's been struggling offensively and is isn't as good a defensive first baseman as Casey is. And um, we didn't want with Parker pitching. We didn't want to give away any any bases or uh, our infield has to be the best possible defense we can put out there. And that <coughs> that's it. Nothing more to it really. You hit that ball up. It feel almost reminiscent to the y'all's run last year, and then things are coming together again, and y'all are gonna find a way to win. Um, yeah, you know, uh, just you know, trying to get things started for this team. You know, we've been through a lot all year long, and um, you know, we've been be able to you know bounce back, and you know, after hitting the home run, you know, we kind of get kind of got the mow back a little bit, and then you know, they found some holes in the eighth inning, and you know, that's baseball. That's the way it's gonna go. Parker, did you feel like it? Um, yeah, I think uh, we came out with a lot of good energy today. Um, we faced a really good pitcher. Uh, our hitters did a really good job of just grinding out at bats against them, making it tough. And uh, you saw, uh, for example, Brooks, we just we got a big hit off him. Um, so I think the energy was there, the attitude was there, confidence was there. It just Baseball is a funny game. Sometimes it knocks you down when uh, you play well and you have the right attitude. I'll, I'll give you see many catches better than the one that Derwitz made in field. Well, Colin Shaw's in the running for all for all of that for sure. Uh, but we don't have a chance to make that play at home because the fence is so much higher. But that that's as good as it gets at the time he made it, especially. Uh, it, it picked us up and put us in a good position. Bottom of the eighth, I guess it was, you went out and talked to the umpire. You were not happy about something. The, the, I couldn't figure out the guy that they substituted went to first base. And then he came back and I don't know what happened to him. Did he bat? He decided to hit. Yeah, I decided to hit. 
So is he reporting into first base or is he hitting or what's he doing here? And how can he do both? <clears throat> he said, well, I don't know. <laughs> I said, well, somebody's got to know. I'll get you decide who's going to start tomorrow on the mound. No, I'll have to talk to it. We, we had a lot of people in the bullpen and now you're, you're, you're going to be in a situation where you've got a five game journey ahead, four more games ahead of you. This game is huge in this, in this tournament, but there's 16 of these tournaments going on. You'll see two or three teams that lose on the first day win before it's over. It'll get done throughout the country. This might as well be one of them. I think that they're very, uh, very well coached. Uh, I say that because of the two strike adjustments they made and the two strike, they hit with confidence with two strikes, they hit with confidence with runners in scoring position and they were satisfied to be themselves. They're not a power baseball team, they're an efficient baseball team based on quality at bats and just pecking away at you until they score runs. And that's, that's, that's their game, but they play it well. They play it very well. And um, the play their first baseman made on, on CJ, uh, the defensive play was outstanding. Uh, the play in center field on Ben's ball was outstanding. So they're a defensive team that have, has been very well coached, very efficient in what they do, very confident in the kind of game they're gonna play and they play it well. They played it against an excellent pitcher today, Parker French, and they still stuck right to their game. Brooks, how, how poor is the playing conditions in Rayfield right now? Um, uh, I guess you can see by Collins' uniform. You know, it was it was pretty bad out there, but you know, nobody better to have out there and that kind of stuff than Shaw. You know, nothing bothers him. But um, yeah, it's a big effect. You know, outfield. Can't come in, you know, throw people out because you got to get your feet underneath you. Balls wet, but <clears throat> Shaw fought it out, you know. And but yeah, it's pretty wet out there. Parker, take us through last night with the with the rainfall and then the delay today. Have you ever seen a chopper on a baseball field when you showed up to pitch before? Um, I think that's the first time I've seen a helicopter in real life in my entire <laughs> life. Um, but not to to dry off a baseball field, no, uh, that either. Um. I mean, that's just baseball. It's an outdoor sport. You got to deal with weather. Um, things are going to get delayed. I've had a number of starts this year get pushed back to Saturday or weird stuff happen. So it's kind of got to roll with the punches and uh, go out there and compete when it's time. Oh, yeah. A lot of your players were striking out early and called third strikes. Did that right. strike zone uh, bother your players? Or what? I don't think so. I think it was the quality of the pitcher. And uh, I think our hitters uh, were trying to get a sense of how he was going to pitch them. And uh, in, from the second time around, I think all of the hitters made good adjustments and, and took uh, quality at bats. But I think they were, we wanted, they just wanted to see what he was all about. And what he's all about is very good. Brooks, what's your opinion of uh, Zane's catch? Is that, is that as good as you've ever seen him? What did that do for the momentum coming back off the field and into the dugout for the next inning? It was big for you guys. Um, definitely turn it around a little bit for us. Um, you know, saved a run, you know. And, um, yeah, to answer it, yeah, it's probably one of the best I've seen. And um, just the momentum change to, towards us in the dugout, you know, kind of got hyped up a little bit. And then, you know, hit the home run the next inning. It, it all, we just felt like everything's going our way, you know. And then the game of baseball, you know, can turn around and just punch you right in the face, but it's how you react to it. But um, I felt like we, we played well enough to win today. How, how would you assess his throw after making that catch? Did he get to the infield? He was so fired up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was so fired up. And, you know, he just just tried to throw that ball as hard as he can because he was so I thought he, I, th I really thought he got f scoring the touchdown and <laughs> uh, making a catch uh, kind of mixed in there. He spiked the ball, <laughs> you know. And he skipped off the mud. Too. cross referencing sports. He's a very intelligent guy. And <laughs> can do... Um, I'd say they're kind of all important, you know. Um, definitely, you know, for us, it's either win or go, win or go home. But you know, we're not 
thinking about going home in our mind, you know. We have the team and we have the pitching, we have the hitters, we have the defense to, you know, win this whole thing and proceed later in season. And um, we're going to come out, we're going to fight, we're going to give it everything we got. And, you know, after the ninth inning, third out, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, you know, obviously very excited about winning. Uh, if you're a baseball fan, that was uh, two and a half hours of, of entertainment because that was a hell of a game. So uh, every time that uh, they punched us, I, I felt like we responded. And, um, you know, I thought both guys were pretty good on a bump. And, uh, you know, we left some runners on base, but uh, I tell you, that's a that's a good baseball team we beat, and to come out with as many young kids that have never been in this environment, it was a it was a good win for us. Kyle, think us through that double. What was kind of going through your mind when you're stepping into the plate? And, you know, what what happened there? Yeah, uh, uh, Bales before he's got the scouting reports, and he just told me, you know, this guy throws a lot of sliders. He threw me a first pitch slider. It was a pretty good pitch, so I figured he was coming with it again, and he just left a little bit over the plate, and I just got, got barrel on it. And Given your, your story, you had a Juco last year, working your way into the rotation, starting rotation this, this year. What does this moment mean for you to, to do this on the stage? I mean, I feel like it's not really – it's more about the team. Like, I just want to – I want the team to feel good about it, you know, because uh, we've all competed and, and, and worked our butts off to get here, and uh, – just feels good to win as a team and not really just necessarily do it myself, you know. If it was somebody else who did it, I'd be uh, just as happy. Back, clarify, and I, I guess it was the bottom of the eighth. There was a little confusion. You sent someone out that thought he was pinch running, but you wanted him to pinch in. Is that correct? Well, you know when you tell your, your kid to go to the neighbors and get some sugar and he comes <laughs> back with some flour? It was kind of like that, so... I said, hey, Lundy, I, I said, you're going to hit in Billy's hole. Go up and say 19 for 18, and he did, and then he runs to first base, which thank God that he gave the number to Barry because uh, I'm not sure what he was doing, but um, it was pretty clear that he was going in um, for a specific reason. And so I was kind of, when I looked down there, I was kind of surprised, but you know, we got through it. So. Colin, thanks, Coach Tuck. I think Coach touched on it just a moment ago, but just – just the mood of the team and, and, and the dugout after you, know, you guys you know, get, get delivered a couple of good gut punches, but you catch by Gerwitz in center field, followed by the two run home run. Uh, you know, what was the mood like you know, heading into the uh, of the bottom of the eighth? And how did you get the run? Yeah, we all came running in, fired up. I mean, uh, we we were competing all game and we were having good at bats, putting putting runs on the board and. Uh, Andrew competed for us, and uh, when he when he's on the mound, it's definitely a different mood on, around on the team because he's just out there battling, and, and it rubs off on him on the other guys on the team. So uh, we were definitely fired up. I mean, we we still believe. I mean, there was just no doubt that we were going to win that game. Yeah. Uh, for both of you guys, Kyle and Billy, you know, their pitcher Parker French came out very strong first couple of innings. I didn't think you guys were able to adjust. You had you know, a bunch of hits kind of scattered in the whole game. What was the difference in it? Uh, you know, we, we came out, had some pretty bad at bats um, throughout the lineup. There's a couple guys that battled Kyle to get at bat. Um, but, you know, we just came out uh, next couple innings, just realized, you know, we can hit this guy. Um, we knew he was a sinker ball pitcher. Uh, we just came ready to go, made an adjustment, and uh, he responded pretty well. Uh, yeah, and for me, I think that uh, – we started to be a little more aggressive and uh, kind of when somebody got a hit, somebody else got a hit, somebody else got a hit. So it started just piling up when we were more aggressive. And, yeah, I think that's more the, the adjustment. We were just looking over the plate and swinging out better pitches, I guess. How, how big is winning this first game in this kind of tournament format? Do you, how much uh, of a difference does it make, do you think, just heading into the rest of the tournament? Well, I mean, obviously, it puts you in a better position as far as how your pitching lines up. We've been in both ends of that thing, so uh, I'm well aware of what it's like to come through the loser's bracket. But um, obviously, I think it gives you a little momentum, and you're going to play a winner tomorrow. So, you know, you're going to be playing a club that's uh, in the same situation. Um, obviously, like I said, coming through the loser's bracket is much more difficult. Did you think about playing Trevor at all today? Or yeah, I did. I thought about it right there when uh, when uh, Michael walked, you know, and... and 
You know, a guy hasn't played in five and a half weeks, put him in a situation with a one-run game, and, you know, there was a couple of things I thought about. One was getting Mo out of the game when he gave up the home run, and I didn't do that right either. So uh, uh, I did think about it, and he's ready to go, and I, I just want to make sure it's the right situation. Talk about your players being in this, some of your young players being in this, this situation for the first time. I mean, how different is it taking a young team like this versus the experience you've had the last couple of years, and how did they respond? Well, they responded well, but, you know, we, we have to be better leaders as coaches, and then the older guys have to be better leaders. And so I, I think we have a, you know, when you're running some people out there that it, maybe it's their third trip to a regional or uh, one World Series, uh, obviously you got leadership that's been in that situation. But very few of these guys have ever played in this. So, um, you know, we just, uh, these guys probably don't know what to think of me because I've been as loose as you could be over the last three days, so they think I've lost my mind. But, um, you know, really it's their time of the year. We're not going to get any better as a team. We're not going to do anything, you know, other than just play the game. And it's their opportunity. They put in the work. It's about them. They get to showcase what they've done. And, um, you know, we ask them to hit and run or bond or do some things like that. But ultimately, it comes down to the players playing the game. And that, and that part's fun for me because I get to sit back and watch it a little bit and watch some energy and watch guys grow. You know, I've seen these kids grow up and uh, right before my eyes. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to pat them on the tail. Sometimes you got to kick them in the tail. Right now, they got to. They gotta go get it, man. Kyle, did you think Hamilton's uh, shot out to center was gone? Yeah, that was an unbelievable catch. I thought it was gone. Yeah, <clears throat> that was a great catch. That was a great catch. Ours? I thought, you know, I thought we defended well. You know, I, I, I thought there was an execution thing in the first inning. I wish it, we would have, you know, we had the whole side of the left side of the infield was wide open for a pulled ball in the sixth hole, and they got a ground ball, and they got a little bit of momentum. They played well. I thought the catch by Hendricks was fantastic. Yeah. You know, in, that, in those conditions, it's unbelievable how much water's on that field. So, um, you know, I, I, just a heck of a ball game. I mean, it just was a terrific ball game. But is Harrison normally a pretty good defensive first baseman? He made a nice stop there. He's a really good first baseman. He's never played there. I just got to get draw, put a piece of tape out there so you don't go any further than this line towards the second. He wants to field everything, you know, so he gets himself out of position a little bit. But he's done a heck of a job. He never played first base. He was a catcher in, in high school. And, you know, Logan Ice is a very good defender, and it made us a better club for him to have that versatility to play there. Yeah, I mean, it was really wet, like Coach said. Uh, but, uh, you know, just they were talking before the game, you know, it's going to be wet, it's going to be slippery, and you just got to have a better attitude about it. So I feel like we had a great attitude about it, and, I mean, it didn't really hurt us or it didn't really help us either. You know, the ball was dying completely. So I guess it kind of did help us, you know, maybe a ball in the gap, what a roll for a double, it just died. But it wasn't too bad. I didn't mind it. Thank you, guys. Thanks.